All right, man, Bob Aaron is now saying that he wants to do Arthur Better B F versus Dimitri Bibble after saying it was a boring fight and nobody wanted to see the fight. He shit it on the fight. Uh, now he's screaming a different tune. Now, I don't know if because Better BF had a, a, a surgery and they figured his time running out or whatever, but apparently he was whooping on Joe Smith Jr. ass with an injury. All right? Um, so he was whooping on him with an injury. You know, um, so let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase chance get notifications. We go live or drop a video. <clears throat> it says Bob Bam Marcher better be up on three titles if he gets by into the yard. We have the results from Dimitri Bibble give worth the Ramirez, and absolutely we want to give better BF the opportunity to win all four belts. And you know where that came from? That came from a uh, better BF himself. You know, his trainer John when his trainer John Scully said that uh he said that uh that better BF would want to fight undisputed with with for B, with Beevil before getting the Canelo fight. So I mean, there you have it, right there, right then and there. He won't undispute it. He want to be part of that. And he told Bob Arum exactly what he wanted, and Bob Arum had to change his tune. And I don't understand why Bob Arum threw that out there anyway. You know. You know. I don't understand why Bob threw that out there anyway. You know, talking, you know, talking ish before you talk to your fighter, you should want to talk to your fighter first, right? Come on. You should want to talk to your fighter first. That's the crazy thing about it. He making decisions, you know what I'm saying, without even consulting with it with it with it with his own fighters. Come on. You know, and he used to promote both of them. I believe Dimitri Bibble had an appearance on ESPN. He did. He surely did. He surely did have an appearance on ESPN. And in addition to that, I believe, uh, I believe, the, yeah, Gilberto Ramirez was signed top rank as well, too. And that's one of the fighters that they messed up. You know, they didn't want to play ball with other promoters. And, and he suffered. You know, because he didn't get match made the way he was supposed to, and he never developed. Because Bob Aaron didn't want to work with other, other promoters. So think about that for a minute. So, you know, you know, I'm gonna hurt to listen to Bochita was arguing about how Bob believed in in-house fights too. The other day, they they all believe in in-house fights. I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> they are they all believe in in-house fights. They only start begging and shit, you know, on camera, you know, when it's in their favor to send their fighter somewhere or you know, when it's in their favor. You know, that that's when that's when they start groveling and and they want to make fights when it's in their favor. They feel that they they got the day, you know, they can win a purse, but they feel their fighter is the superior fighter. You know, that's that's what that's when that's when they start, you know, that's when they start, you know, begging and choosing and picking and all that type of stuff. Or they really they really they what they willing to work together. So that's when they, they really change their tune. That's when they change their tune. But nonetheless, now you don't want to go ahead and, and make this fight. And it better be, I probably got in his ass. Better be, I probably got right in his ass. And better be, I probably was like, bro, man, make that fight, man. I can beat him. I, I, I can make this shit exciting. So, you know, Bob Barron got to do what his fighters say they got to do, and that's make the damn fights. You know, it's a hell of a fight. It's a hell of a fight. A lot of people riding with Beaver. That's fine. In my opinion, I'm rolling with better BF. I'm rolling with better BF by stoppage, but it ain't going to be easy. Beaver, hell of a fighter. I don't think he ever been dropped, neither. I ain't really never seen him hurt, neither. He controlled distance very, very well. Very well. 
So it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting fight, but it's good that he got a change of heart. Stopping that man from, from, from getting undisputed. But then you turn around and you crying undisputed. You crying for undisputed for, for uh uh you know Terrence Carpenter and Earl Spitz. Like you gotta be consistent. Aaron don't be Aaron really don't be one to don't want to make money with Eddie Hearn. He don't want to make money with nobody. Let's just say his favorite. And they all like that. If you if, if Bob Aaron really want to work with Al Heyman to make fights like Crawford and Spence at one point, then he gonna have to make fights with everybody. Not when he's not only when it's in his favor, when it's 50-50 fights and all of that. All these promoters rather just keep losing money over paying fighters instead of working together and making money off of them. You know what I'm saying? That just don't make no sense. That that make, that makes that makes zero sense. That makes zero sense. And they just want to they just want to do stuff when it's in their favor. Instead of working with whatever, just keep losing, keep losing money, keep losing money, keep losing money, keep losing money. You know, and then it, it's not no and it's not like they got the best fights out there. All these promoters need each other. And in, the, in, the, in the, the, the promotional company who got the best fights out there and, um, and PBC, they don't even believe in making the best fights over there. They don't even make, believe in making the best fights. You know, they believe in marinade, 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 marinade until somebody lose or get upset or they old and fucking fragile. And then they believe in making the fight. Come on. You know, but it's, it's a fight that need to happen. You know, and people don't talk about how people been avoiding this ass whooping. They don't talk about it. You know, but people just became a champion, like a real champion. He was a regular champion for a while. But he ain't been really trying to make this happen. All they doing is trying to age better BF out. But I ain't mad. His weight, his waiting, he got a big payday with Canelo. Even though it was only five million dollars, but that's bigger than what he's been getting. And the rematch can be worth even more. He said he wanted to get paid what he worth. He was ever cool 15. Fuck it. You know? But the better BF fight, unless they do it in Russia, which that ain't happening right now. Come on. You know, you know, skill for skill, you know, you know, you take away the fighters' names and just say you blind study, this would be considered a great fight. This would be a, this would be a all this would be an all-time great fight on paper. You know, it would be. You know, if you put if you took the names away, people will be clamoring for this fight. You know, but let's let you know a name is everything in boxing. Mayweather was born as hell in his uh his in, 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 as money Mayweather. When he was excited with nobody buys fights, when he started talking shit and making a name for himself, you know, he became that guy. So let's let you know a name is almost just as important as having a skill. They didn't, you know, they didn't turn, they didn't uh you know, they didn't turn they didn't turn guys, you know, who didn't have the most skill, and they didn't turn them in champions and made them and made them draws and everything. You know? You gotta have something to work with, but you see what I'm saying. You know, but like I said before, the name is very names are very important in boxing. Very important. Ethnic background, support, viewers, Instagram followers. Even before that, you still need a support. You still need a support. So, you know, this this fight should be, you know, a, a, a instant class. It should be an instant classic that does a million pay-per-views because of the style and how gritty it is. But let's let you know that without a name, without a big following, it don't matter. Names matter like people buy name brand shit. It matters. And and that's the harsh reality of it. You know? 
But, you know, Bob Aram had a change of heart because better be have gotten his ass. His representation said, make this shit happen. And you and you holding up big fights, man. People, you know, his fighters ain't going to respect that. But he didn't been with Bob. He didn't been with Al Heyman. He said, I never met Al Heyman, but he just offered me the most money. That was funny. But let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the box news playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. Hit that like comment button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to notifications. We go live with our video. And then you want to support the channel. Cash out dollar sign CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. PayPal in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Spotify, Podcast, and much more. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check the box in this playlist. Appreciate the love and support, but I guarantee people would rather have that Canelo fight now and blame them. But hey, peace.